What's going on? Hayden Barber here for PFB inside Gallagher Ivor Arena. Man, that was crazy. Uh, one versus two wrestling, obviously, Oklahoma State, Penn State, and the Cowboys were on the losing end for the first time in uh, 363 days. Last time they lost was in this exact competition, the NWCA Bowl Series, and they lost to Penn State. Uh, they suffered the 27-13 loss tonight here in GIA, and man, Coach Smith was uh, not his usual self. Definitely seemed upset. Said, uh, the I think the biggest takeaway from the whole deal, uh, from his whole press conference was that a lot of the guys were trying rather than doing. And uh, that was resonated also with you know, me and Dean Heil, number one in the nation, leader of this group, and he, he came out afterward and said that he's just not a good leader. He hasn't been a, as good a leader as he would like. Um, and he said, you know, maybe if he was a better leader, the Cowboys would have gotten some of their results. Some of the big results from the night, uh, Dean Heil actually won his, uh, won his match 3-2, avoiding two, two pins there in the last 30 seconds of the last two periods. Uh, another big one was Nolan Boyd, number four in the nation, gets pinned in 38 seconds, and that was, that was really the nail in the coffin. Uh, after that, it was all kind of downhill. But um, here, here's what else Coach Smith had to say about just the team's competitive nature in this one. Obviously, uh, getting into the beef of their lineup with Rutherford and Al, Joseph, Paul, Nickel. Um, you know, it just, uh, just kind of looked like we were a team that uh, um, trying rather than doing. Um, didn't appear when it got real critical. We had the confidence that we needed. Um, I think the, some of the scores were um, a little bit uh, lopsided because, uh, uh, you know, didn't quite look like we believed that we could win. Um, to it, but I know we're better than that. Um, you know, I think you got a team, uh, my team, that's what it's made up of, uh, that uh, have had a good year. You know, I've had to wrestle, scrap. Uh, I think Penn State's a different team than what we faced all year. And, uh, and in the end, it, uh, they showed they were a little different. So um, either we get better or we're there's a bunch of us wrestling for a second. You know, so I'm not willing to, you know, just let the title go. Um, uh, I do believe that we're a lot better, and hopefully uh, we can take some lessons from today and, and move forward starting tomorrow. As I mentioned, Dean Heil, not happy. Um, very long pauses, as you'll see here coming up, and, uh, you know, it just seemed very reflective. Before he, before he even spoke with the media, he was off to the side, hands together on his forehead, just very, very beside himself is the way I would put it. Um, so here's, here's sort of what he had to say about, about the Cowboys performance. Found yourself in a pretty precarious position a couple times in your uh, matchup. What was going through your mind as you were just trying to you know, fend him off for the past you know, 30 seconds in each of those last two periods? Whatever I could to hold on, you know. Just, uh, I mean, there's not much I could have done in those situations. I was just kind of in a lost position where uh, if I would have went, went left or went right one one inch, you know, he would have been able to pop his shoulder or been able to get two. So I was just holding on, making, just trying to make sure I, I uh, making sure he could have moved. So just hoping for the stalemate. But time ran out. <clears throat> I was able to hold on until time ran out, ran out and, you know. That was that. 14,000 people, what was that like for you guys seeing that crowd and just hearing the roar of everyone? At the beginning of the duel was great. Uh, you know, you get out, you see all the fans, you see all your supporters and family, friends, everybody just come out and it, it, was, it, was, it was awesome. Uh, by the end of the duel, you, you know, it's kind of upsetting that, you know, you don't, you go out and your team doesn't, you know, perform. 
and you kind of feel like you let them down. I mean, half, you know, half this arena was gone by the end of that, or by the beginning of the heavyweight duel. So it's kind of, kind of upsetting. How do you guys bounce back from today's duel? I mean, like Coach said, you just look at the score. I mean, you, you got, I mean, aside from Nick's match, you, 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 you look at every match and you can just pick it apart. I mean, you know, you know, Cave was a takedown or two takedowns away from, you know, getting attacked. Next thing you know, he gets taken down. You know, I, 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 I'm ranked number one in the country, you know, and I'm beating a guy three to two who I just, you know, is major. And you got a bunch of guys who, who, you know, got, who, like Coach said, they, they just went out and tried. They just tried. They didn't do. So you just look at the score. You look how you wrestled, and that 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 says it right there. You know, if that doesn't motivate you, then who knows what 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 needs to motivate you? To hear, coach. Again, Oklahoma State, 13, 13 points against the uh, number two team, Penn State. We finished this with 27. The Cowboys suffered their first loss in almost a year in a dual meet. And the, the last one came against the same Penn, ta Penn State team. Um, a lot of the Cowboys had close close matches. Preston Weigel had a close one. Kyle Crutchmer had a real close one. Um, but again, it seemed as if, like Coach said, it was trying rather than doing. And unfortunately, that's that's what did the Cowboys in. And it, Dean, Dean Heil said that it was almost upsetting that there were so many people in the crowd. Obviously a record attendance today, uh, 14,059. There were people standing in the stairwells about two or three rows deep. And it, w it was pretty astonishing to see. And he said it was awesome at first. The Cowboys rattled off three quick wins in the matches. And after that, Penn State won seven straight. And by the end of it, uh, Dean Heil said there was, he looked up and half the, half the arena was empty uh, after, or at the start of the heavyweight match because the, the, match had, the, the duel had already been clinched at that point. So, disappointing night for the Cowboys. Um, really high expectations coming in. And uh, Dean, like Dean Heil said, it was just upsetting to put, put together a performance that they did in front of such a massive crowd. That'll do it for me here in GIA. Again, it's Cowboys 13, Penn State 27. And for PFB, I'm Hayden Barber.